Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Frost Club, you can call me Frosty, Stormy, or Seth, whatever comes most naturally to you. Thank you so much for tuning in or checking this out or returning to my channel, which would be even better. Appreciate you so much for that. Today we're going to be playing Dear Esther. Dear Esther is not so much a game, more of an experience. Dear Esther, I really don't know much about it at all, actually. I know it's a first-person game, supposedly about loss, guilt, and redemption. Uh, it doesn't really have your typical gameplay mechanics at all. It's more of just a single-player, first-person experience. And once the game starts, a voiceover starts reading a letter that starts Dear Esther. And that's all I know about it. It's supposedly about three hours long, but so was Super Liminal, and I did that in two hours, so I bet we'll get this one done in two hours as well. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Let's get right into the game, shall we? All right, here we are. Let's jump right in. Okay, so it looks like we got four parts, optional director's commentary, which uh, we won't be doing. It's going to start with the lighthouse. Dear Esther, the gulls do not land here anymore. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing stock driving them away. Perhaps it's me. When he first landed here, Donnelly wrote that the herds were sickly and their shepherds oh. the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. 300 years later, even they have departed. Huh, okay, an interesting start. Wow, this looks good. This is a 2012 game, by the way. Oh, I've got a flashlight. Paint. Luminous Paints Premium Plus. That's a lot of paints. That's a lot of paints. Paint. Okay. Even more paint. Okay. This is just beautiful, isn't it? And this time I'm being sarcastic. Hib Hebridean history? Dang, this looks really good for 2012 graphics. I guess that's really the point of the game though. They focused all their time and efforts on audio and visual, it doesn't have any gameplay really to speak of. Well, I guess I'll head down this way. Looks like there are two paths. Can I go up here? I can. Ooh, what's that? Oh, um, lighthouse, I think. Feel that ocean breeze, aka the harsh water, the wind over the water. Yeah, I live in the bay, we get that pretty often. Okay, apparently I managed to just squeeze past there, no stumbles. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south Ooh, side and the cliffs opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The Whoa. shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claim to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Huh. Interesting. Ah! Ah! Darn it. Well, I couldn't go through the cave, so I guess this has to be the way along the beach. Beautiful trash. More beautiful trash. Oh, I can zoom. My periscopic eyeballs. Okay, 
All right, looks like I can head back up around this way. When you were born, your mother told me, a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No oh. one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I, I doubt that's why I cried, but okay. But you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I, began I don't to see how that's admirable, vacuum, but okay. Just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six, and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. That's a very interesting perspective on crying. I remember uh, in the city once, well not once, it was always there, but when I used to live in the city, that we had this, it wasn't like that, that looks definitely like a lighthouse, I think. A wonderful sight. The moon cresting the junction between the cliff Who's path and the stone me? circle. I'm busy. It cast a shadow of the ridge across the beach, all the world as if you had signed your name in untidy handwriting. Poetic. Well, I think that's, no, that's a giant... I don't I know what those things are but I don't know what they're called we had something like that in the city but it was like an H size or like an H symbol and it had like four or six of the red lights on it on each uh, each cross of the H each intersection I suppose I to when this day do not know what it was is dying it was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. Huh. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Little hard to understand entirely what he's saying. I will admit I'm not the most I quote directly, eloquent. A motley but... lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Do we include ourselves in that now? Or are we just here for the experience? It seems like an interesting thing to uh, venture out for. Are we going to get to that cave where I saw the light? I think so. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts oh. of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come I in search of an back. apology, reason or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I'm gonna just try not to interrupt the dialogue too much and hope that you guys understand it better than I do. I bet it'll become clearer later, I would leave but presence outside your retreat in this interim space between cliff and beach. I would leave Whoa. you loaves and fishes, but the fish stocks have been depleted and I've run out of bread. I would row you back to your homeland in a bottomless boat, but I fear we would both be driven mad by the chatter of the sea creatures. Those almost look like roots, but I don't know what that would be. This feels almost like a Rorschach ch test. Like, what do you see? I kind of see almost like a bowl. There's an ear. I guess that would be the other ear, and that's the snout. But it could be something else. It almost looks like something dancing. H, 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 O, H. CC. Bunch of arrows. Oh, excuse me. 
I really shouldn't be yawning, I sleep plenty. This one's a little different than the other one. Hmm. There has to be a lot of dust in the air to see the ray of the flashlight that clearly. A burb! Life! It's incredible. Oh yes, I can zoom on it. Oh, there's a crash boat. I didn't notice that before. Okay, stop zooming, man. <laughs> I have a tendency to just, like, let my hand rest on the mouse and just the weight of my fingers just pushes down the buttons. I just... I suppose I'm fat fingering it, but like I'm not actually trying to click anything. I just <laughs> weigh it down. Too much work to hold up my own fingers, you know. Excuse <clears throat> me. Dang, that's 2012 graphics, guys. See, games could look amazing. The vegetation here has fossilized from the roots up. To think they once grazed animals here, the remnants of occupation being evidence to that. It is all sick to death. The water is too polluted for the fish, the sky is too thin for the birds, and the soil is cut with the bones of hermits and shepherds. I've heard it said that human ashes make great fertilizer, that we could sow a forest from all that is left of your hips and ribcage with enough left over to thicken the air and repopulate the bay. Huh. I wouldn't go that far, but... What's this? Units 3 chemistry? Is that units? Yeah, I think so. An interesting pair of books to mark this area. Which way am I going? That way or that way? Can I go up this way? I have my doubts. Yeah. Gotta go the other way. Oh, what's this? Is that an urn of ashes? A, uh, interesting place to dump that. <clears throat> So what are we doing here? There's something incredibly well done about this. It's almost off-putting how realistic yet dreary it is. It's like you've got this, I mean for the time, high fidelity, high quality graphics and it would look like so outstanding. And, but they didn't do anything crazy or fantastical. It looks like it's just realism. It's just really good graphics based off of reality. And, oh. And um, it just looks so dreary and gray, but so real at the same time. It's something eerie and wrong about that. Although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. Oh. It's somewhere between the turnoff for Sanford and the welcome break services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. I feel like that meant something deeper than what <laughs> it said exactly. What is he looking for? I'm trying to follow along with the dialogue, but it... It isn't making a hell of a lot of sense to me. It's very poetic, and like, I get bits and pieces of it. Hmm. Oh, we can see that a lot clearer now.
Bowie. How did this ship get over here? It's only at night that this place makes any sluggish effort at life. You can see the boy and the aerial. I've been taking to sleeping through the day in an attempt to resurrect myself. Is that the aerial? I can feel the last days drawing upon me. There's little point now in continuation. There must be something new to find here. Some nook or some cranny that offers a perspective worth clinging to. I've burnt my bridges. I've sunk my boats and watched them go to water. have worked a lot. That is a lot of wreckage, and a lot of it's still here. Surprising, honestly. Well, I guess I have no idea how old this is. It looks really old, but so much of it is still here that it honestly makes me doubt. Stop yawning, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna go through here because I can. Uh, this way, I think. I honestly probably could have done this entire video, like the full gameplay walkthrough, without any commentary or face cam. Uh, but I mean, like, I didn't know what it was. So. Hey. I'm happy to be here chatting while we do this. Oh, what's this? There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? What does that mean? And looks like I should have gone the other way, but I'm glad I saw that. I don't know what it is, but glad I saw it. They do a pretty good job with, like, the ocean mist in the air every time it gusts. It's a good-looking game. I'm impressed. This was ten years ago. God damn. <laughs> I had kidney stones, and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half-submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Uh, what? The first half of that made sense. The second half did not make as much sense. Should I have gone down there? It looks like it leads to the same place. Made opaque by the car of a drunk? Did we get hit or something? Where is this? I've begun my ascent on the windless slope of the western That's side. That's cool. The setting sun was an inflamed eye squeezing shut against the light shone in by the doctors. My neck is aching through constantly craning my head up to track the light of the aerial. I must look downwards, follow the path under the island to a new beginning. I hurt my neck so much from staring up at things or down at things for prolonged periods of time. <laughs> when I'm editing, I have a bad habit of like doing it on, I, I use a MacBook Pro, and I do it like on my bed, and like, <laughs> I, I lay down with my neck up like this, resting my chin on my arms, or just holding my head up to like be a... Uh, Parallel the was screen, constructed originally or in the early 1700s. Hurts my neck then, so bad. Shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. 
He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. It's funny how everyone has like their own goal and their own purpose in life and Three everyone's journey is so unique. They did not land. This house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents, my camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly, famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will oh. descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. Oh, that's a person. Incredible walk animation. <laughs> Are we following him? The uh, the monologues remind me of like Watership Down. I don't know if any of you guys have read that. Good book, good book. The original 1978, I think, movie, also amazing. to make of Donnelly, the laudanum and the syphilis. It is clearly not how he began, but I've been unable to discover if the former was a result of his visiting the island or the force that drove him here. For the syphilis, a drunk driver smashing his insides into a pulp as he stumbled these paths, I can only offer my empathy. We're all victims of our age. My disease is the internal combustion engine and the cheap fermentation of yeast. Huh. They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. He'd struggled halfway down the cliff path, perhaps looking for some lost goat, or perhaps in a delirium, and expired, curled into a claw right under the winter moon. Stop texting me. Even the animals shunned his corpse. The mainlanders thought to bring it home unlucky, Donnelly claims they dragged it to the caves to thaw out and rot, but he is proving an unreliable witness. Poor guy. I'm curious if they said that he was Scandinavian. Is he like an immigrant? Or I don't know where we are. Climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. What is that noise? tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves. Winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. So he's on some sort of pilgrimage to his final resting place. Oh. What? Yeah, I saw that one coming. Ow. Ooh, that hurt. Did Jacobson crawl this far? Can I identify the scratches his nails ruined into the rocks? Am I following him, cell for cell, inch for inch? Why did he turn back on himself and not carry through to the ascent? Oh. Yeah, that, that's, that's interesting. This is getting a lot more interesting. Whoa. Whoa. I've been, um, I've hiked through a cave once. It was beautiful, it was insane. My eyes didn't lag like this, though.
I would never go, um, what's it called? I don't know what they would call it, but basically tunneling, cave climbing, I don't know what you call it. I just picked a random path and started walking, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't think I want to fall down there, but dang! That's amazing. See, that's what you go hiking through caves for. <laughs> Is that a candle? Can I get to that? I first saw him sat by the side of the road. I was waiting for you to be cut out of the wreckage. The car looked like it had been dropped from a great height. The guts of the engine spilled over the tarmac. Like yeah, we were ground. hit by a drunk driver, it looks like. So are we dying? Is this like our final ascent, as he put it? So we got hit by a car, Jacobson, many, many years ago in the 1700s, died of disease. What is he dying of? I mean, he's kind of explained, but I haven't really understood. You're really breaking my immersion, man. Luminous paints. Do I go down here? I guess I go down. Woo! Whoa! Dang! That's beautiful. Well done. Look at that! Man, we have not gone as far in the last 10 years in computer graphics as I thought. I guess we just made it more efficient. <laughs> So, I might be completely wrong, but what I'm gathering... Oh wow, we're back in the cave. Whoa! Oh, it's lagging a bit. We got this. It's loud, too. This would be so slippery, dude. I would not take my chances on that. Another candle. So I think we're following the guy who's talking, the guy who wrote the letter. I think this is, is this like the final ascent to death or something? Are we dying? It's very intriguing, honestly, but uh, I'm not sure at all. I don't do the crawl, by the way, it just does that automatically. This is cool. This is really cool. I'm traversing my own death throes. The infection in my leg is an oil rig that dredges black muck up from deep inside my bones. I swallow fistfuls of diazepam and paracetamol to stay conscious. The pain flows through me like an underground sea. 
Let's check this out before we cross the other bridge. No, but if this was like dying, he wouldn't be in so much. He wouldn't be taking painkillers and breaking his leg, would he? I don't know. I don't know how this works. I honestly like games like this in, from uh, like from time to time. A game that's more of an experience than a game where you basically just sit down and a lot of people call them walking simulators, but I genuinely enjoy them from time to time. It's really nice. It's a re it's a change of pace to just view something where all the focus was put into just making it either beautiful or surreal or anything else. It's refreshing. A lot of the time they tell some interesting stories because they're not limited by gameplay mechanics. Seeing that one a lot. Whoa. Whoa. Let's check this out first. I will hold the hand you offered to me. From the summit down to this well, into the dark waters where the small flowers creep for the sun. Whoa. Headlights are reflected in your retinas, moonlit in the shadow of the crematorium chimney. Okay, maybe I should check the other way first, because I think this is the way forward. What are these? Oh, I don't think I can go up here. No. Dang, that's cool. I kind of wonder if I can take a dip in this water. That's really deep. I know I can swim now, so maybe. Oh, whoa. I'm moving so slowly through it. That's really cool. How do I get back up now? <laughs> How do I get back up now? No! Oh, I'm okay. Oh, you just, just point and it'll go. Alright. Behold, Damascus what? Damascus... Not sure. Hey, I don't know. Damascus something. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> That's nuts. away from being a city? And it's something be a... something keep? And it shall be a... Something keep. It's that same word that was coming after Damascus, but I can't read it. I don't know what that says. What 
What are these? Some sort of root? Oh, okay. Into the water we go. That's cool, but still cool. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's a long drop. That's a very long drop. Whoa, what? That just changed a lot. Oh, this is a hospital bed. Is this a road where we got hit? Oh, that's cool. We get like speckled water all over our face. This has to be like some final ascent before death or something. Candles. That's really pretty. Everything about this game is wallpaper worthy. Whoa. I wish I could have known. So much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? The idea of facing your own death, it's, I don't know if the word is scary, but it's unnerving. I think I'd almost rather not know, oh is that the totaled car? Fire and soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to oh. ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceilings. It's a defibrillator. Yeah, it looks like we're walking through our own cycle of dying in a hospital bed after being hit. See, I'm, 
I'm not scared of death in the typical fashion. Like, dying isn't scary to me. It's just facts. It's like, knowing when and how you die would be terrifying. Because it brings up the whole... Self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> Whew, excuse me again. I don't know why I'm yawning so much, but... It's like, you can try to avoid it, and you're just gonna barrel towards it. So I honestly, I just, I'd rather not know. I'd rather not be counting the days. But as for like, actually, when it does happen, I don't think I'm really scared of death in the typical fashion. I'm not really afraid to die. But, there are like, ways of dying that would scare me. Or like, the things I haven't done yet. I think getting hit by a car is one of them, because it's like, everything ends so suddenly and so unfairly, it's like you never even had a chance. That's beautiful. I'm gonna just screenshot that. Darn it, it didn't work. Screw you, Steam. <laughs> it works in like everything else. Can I get up there? Or is that where I came from? No, I don't think so. Maybe it is? Here's another pier, this one without a candle on it. Oh, I don't think I can cross here. Oh! 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 I thought I was, like, gonna be reset or something. No! Oh, that's so neat! Huh! There's so many ways to go, it's kind of confusing. Well, not confusing, but like, I don't want to miss anything. That's weird. Should I check that out or is that the way forward? I feel like there's too much here for that to not be the for that to be the way forward, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go check this out. Oh yeah, there's nothing. Never mind. The music has been on for quite some time now. Wait, is this where I came from? How did it? Is it really? How did I get so turned around? Am I supposed to go that way? There's no path there. Huh? No, it's not. I don't remember this. Here's the paintbrush. Does that mean the paint's done? No more paint? That silhouette kind of looks like an elephant, but I'm pretty sure it's just a building. 
No, this is definitely the way I came from, 100%. Did I miss the path forward somehow? Darn, it's not even like a game game, just an experience, and I still managed to lose. How am I so good at being bad? Oh, hi. Are you the person who's writing the letter? Can I get up to you? Oh yeah, it was this way the whole time, I just didn't need to go into there. <laughs> Nope, more paint. Let's check out this. Who's that? That's kind of cool. Oh, I see it. There, it's, it's like it, the frame, the glass frame is shattered. I see. That's that's chemistry of some sort. I am. Um, oh, that's probably what the book was in reference to, because that's a. Don't remember what they're called, but I'm pretty sure it's chemistry. And that that would have been what the book in the beginning, the units three chemistry was in relation to. Unfortunately, I'm not a chemist. I don't know what those are. Oh, this is the remains of the car. Oh, that was an RV. I like the use of candles, because they're like a sign of like remembrance or farewell or stuff like that, depending on your culture. There were chemical stains on the tarmac, the leak of air conditioning, brake fluid and petrol. He kept sniffing at his fingers as he sat by the roadside, waiting as if he couldn't quite understand or recognize their smell. He said he'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter. He'd stopped for farewell drinks earlier, but had kept a careful eye on his intake. You could hear the sirens above the idling traffic. Yeah, keeping a very careful eye on his intake. So careful. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. Oh. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. This is hitting me harder. I'm sorry. This is hitting me harder than I thought. Um, I had a friend who... I had a friend who was killed in a hit and run by someone under the influence, driving. And it was the weirdest thing to experience because I'd never had anyone in my life die before. And for the longest time, all I could remember On a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him, and he fell from to the ground. Oh, are these are these Bible quotes, or are they just poetry? But uh, all I could remember for the longest time was the fact that the last time I'd seen her, I hadn't 
like giving her a proper goodbye. It was kind of just under the assumption that you'll see each other again. And then I didn't. <laughs> I think that's kind of uh, the the unsent letters really brought that back because it's like there was so much I wish I said that I just didn't and then like they're gone and suddenly you collect all these things that you'd wish you'd said to them and all when Paul it's way too late now dead on the road to Damascus they resuscitated him by hitting him in the chest with stones gathered by the roadside he was lifeless for 21 minutes Certainly long enough for the oxygen levels in his brain to have decreased and caused hallucinations and delusions of transcendence. I'm running out of painkillers, and the moon has become almost unbearably bright. Oh. He's gonna disappear before we make it. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. You can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. Hmm. Yes, it's my turn. And as he was proceeding on his journey. I can't decide if that's like part of a sentence and there's gonna be more to it or if it's just like a little quote. <laughs> now this has just become a sad little playthrough. <laughs> God damn it. It started off so full of wonder because everything was so beautiful. And was come near something Damascus? To come near to Damascus? If only Domini had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, Without retreating sight. into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. And neither did he eat. Oh, are we heading up to the aerial? Is that our goal? this one last stop there are headlights reflected in these retinas too long in the tunnels of my island without a bottom the sea creatures have risen to the surface but the gulls are not here to carry them back to their nests I've become fixed open and staring an eye turned on itself I've become an infected leg whose tracking lines form a perfect map of the junctions of the M5 I will take the exit at mid thigh and plummet to my Esther
And it came to pass that as made as made my journey and I can't read the rest from here. Danger, unauthorized personnel, keep out. Well, I think I'm well beyond that at this point. And it came to pass that as made my journey. Am and something was. Oh crap. Don't walk backwards on a cliff, guys. <laughs> Extreme danger, extreme danger. I see now, I see. I can't make out those last few words. Oh, it just keeps going. It keeps going. A gull perched on a spent bonnet, sideways, whilst the sirens fell through the middle distance and the metal moaned in grief about us. I'm about this night in walking, old bread and gull bones, old Donnelly at the bar gripping his drink, old Esther walking with our children, old Paul as ever, old Paul. He shakes and he shivers and he turns off his lights alone. What is Damascus? my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Shadow of a gull.
I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying anything. <laughs> That was beautiful. It made me sad. <sighs> that was really good. That was really nice. I liked that a lot. Well done. Not a game, just an experience. Maybe not worth the full ten dollars, but I got it for like two, so I'm not complaining. That was good. That was really nice. I liked that a lot. Nigel Carrington, excellent job. Yeah, well, I guess uh, I don't really have much to add to that. I didn't think I'd be talking about some of the things I did talk about <laughs> so soon. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Things come out as they do. That was a good, that was good. I liked that. That was totally worth my... Oh, it was only one hour. I don't know how people take three hours to do this. That was good. I like that. Well, uh, I kind of want to let the credits roll, but I don't know how long they're going to take, so I'm going to call it here. Thank you all so much for watching this video, this gameplay, walkthrough, whatever, of Dear Esther. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, make sure to leave me some constructive criticism in the comments down below, letting me know why you're... Your constructive criticism is always appreciated. I always read all the comics. Comics? Comments. <laughs> I don't really read comics, no. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to get subscribed and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I release new videos. I'm going to have more uh, full gameplay videos coming out in the next few days, hopefully with less screaming in the background. Jesus. <laughs> and... Yeah, that was DRS, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. But until then, bye-bye.